learn about creating custom templates in AutoCAD. So let's get started. Let me close this file first. So first of all, what is a template file? A template file contains some predefined settings which save us a considerable amount of time when we are starting a new session. For example, each time we start a session, we set our units in which we are going to work. We set the limits of our drawing. We set up the layers. We set up the company's title block and so on. So what if these settings are already there? So a template file is the file which contains these predefined settings. AutoCAD comes with some predefined template files. You can access those template files from either this drop down. Here are the template files. Like for 2D drawings, we have this acad.dwt. Now you can notice that the file extension for a template file is .dwt, while for a drawing is .dwg. And .dwt stands for drawing template. We have a number of predefined templates here, like for if you want to start a session in 3D, you can choose this AutoCAD 3D.dwt. This will take you to the 3D workspace of AutoCAD. There are other templates which you can choose as per your requirement. You can also choose the template file by clicking on this new button. As soon as I click on it, the select template dialog box appears. Now, the same template files are also available here. So let's select the ACAD template for 2D drawings and open it. Now you can see if I go to the unit style of box, the length type is set to decimal, the precision is set up to four decimal places, the angle type is set to decimal degrees and angle precision is set to zero. Units to scale inserted content is in inches. So hit the OK button. Now I am going to check the limits in this ACAD template. See, the lower left corner is set to 00, zero. the upper right corner is set to 129. Okay. If I go to the layers palette, sorry, the layers properties manager, we have only one layer here and it is the default layer with the name 0. And this layer has some properties assigned to it, like the color is white, line type is continuous, line, line weight is default. Okay, let me close it. Now, what we can do is, we can change these settings as per our requirement and save the change settings into a template file. This will save us a considerable amount of time while starting a new drawing. After creating this template file, you need not to set the limits, set the units, set up the layers and other things. So let's change the units first. Let's change the Length type to architectural, set the precision to 0, 0. Angle type to survey units. And then I'll hit the OK button. You have to remember the changes I'm making. Next, let's set the limits of a drawing. Now I have changed the unit type to architectural. So I have to specify the limits in feet and inches. So let the lower left corner be at 00. zero. Press enter. Now upper right corner, let's make it 15 feet comma 50 feet and press enter. Now let's create some new layers using the layer properties manager. Here is this new layer button. Let's create two more layers. Let's change the color of layer one to say red. Layer two, yellow. Okay, and I'll close this layer properties manager. Now, the changes I made, I have to save these settings for my future use. So how can I do that? Go to the application menu, hit the save as button. Now you can see in the files of type drop down list, AutoCAD 2018 drawing.dwg is selected. Click on this drop down and next choose AutoCAD drawing template dot dwt from this drop down give some name to the template file like i will save it as my template one and browse to the location
location where you want to save it. Say I want to save it on desktop. Now hit the save button. You can also provide some description about the template file you made here in this box. Hit the OK button. Now let me close this drawing. Now we'll start a new file. So click on this new button. Browse to the location where you have saved that template file. I saved it on desktop, so I'll go to the desktop and let me look for that template file. Here it is, my template one. Click on it and hit the open button. Now let's check whether those settings are there or not, which we made earlier. So invoke the unit dialog box. Now you can see the length type is architectural, the precision is 00, zero. angle type is survey units. These settings are the same as we saved in the previous file. Hit the OK button. Now let's check the limits. LIM enter. The lower left corner is set to 0 feet, 0 feet. The upper right corner is set to 15 feet, 15 feet. Like we had set in the previous file. Let's go to the layer properties manager. You can see the two layers we created earlier are also created here and they have the same properties as we assigned them previously. So this is the use of template files in AutoCAD. I hope this video was quite helpful for you and now you will be able to create your own custom template.